So it was never this idea that I'm gonna be a gang member. It was the idea that I'm gonna be closer to my friends. And unfortunately, those friends and that lifestyle is the gang lifestyle. So it's never this mentality. And, 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 I, and it hurts me because I, I know some people that are not from that world don't understand that. And they think it's just this sociopathic um, mentality. I wanna be evil or something. And no, it, it, it even hurts when our friends get hurt. It hurts when we make bad decisions. Um, and for me, it, my very first time getting arrested was an issue, but I don't think it was something that, honestly, I thought I did anything wrong. I ran away from home, from my dad, and I started living at one of the gang houses, right? So it's really one of the spots where the drugs were being sold, and I was about 11 or 12 years old. What? As a little 12-year-old thinking his stuff, says, what? What do you want? And he said, don't want me. He slaps me across the head. Bam! And as soon as he slaps me, my instinct was to rebel back. And so here I am, rebelling back to a police officer, and now I get jumped by the rest of the police officers. They choke me out. And that becomes my first arrest. I said to myself, I need a gun. I need to have a gun. And I proved to the other guys, I need to have a gun. If I would have had a gun, this wouldn't have happened. And really, what would have happened would have been atrocious. I'm a 13-year-old not understanding that fact. But I'm thinking I could defend myself. I could have repelled them. I could have shot them is what I'm saying to myself. Um, and that starts the beginning of I need a gun. And the window of the car hits me and I begin to open fire on him. Bum, 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 and I keep shooting at him. And that becomes the attempted murder where I did shoot someone. He goes to the hospital. He. Uh, and then they show him the lineups, he says who shot him or whatever, and that becomes the charge that I have now um, for gang involvement. Is he okay? Yeah, I, I mean, from what I understand, he is. Yeah. He got shot in the way somewhere around here. Okay. Um, but I also understand that he's still in the street life, wow. right? And somebody recently, in a Facebook post, because they don't understand the charges, they read attempted murder, attempted murder, attempted murder, attempted murder. When you read in the in, in right. the internet, it doesn't come off as attempted murder. It comes out first degree murder slash attempted. Yes, yes, right? and that's why. I turned 17 in jail. I get sentenced to 30 years in prison. I get sentenced to my first 30 year sentence for, remember that probation for those three attempted murders? I get 30 years for those three attempted murders and the shooting in the mall and the racketeering and all the other stuff. I score out to 30 years. Not knowing the consequences and really not caring about them. I don't see my future anywhere where a record is gonna keep me from what? A record is gonna keep me from hanging out with my boys? A record is gonna keep me from getting respect in my clique? No, a record is gonna give me respect. A record is gonna keep me from what? From maybe if the day I decide to change to be a construction worker? to be a mechanic, right? So I don't see myself in anything beyond that world, so the record to me doesn't make a difference. It makes a hell of a difference now, and I can tell you that. And it, I'm very remorseful for my crimes, first and foremost. Heartbroken when I see other young kids throwing their lives away, either by committing the crimes or being at the receiving end of these crimes. But more importantly, I learned that I have a dream of one day going to college I wish I could get out and go to college. Now I understand how the, how the world works. Now I understand what mainstream society, the world is bigger than the marginalized community, that low socioeconomic situation I was in. I want to have a family. I want to have a career. I want to give back. I want to be an inspiration to, I want to do these things. And now I realize it's too late. I got a 30 year sentence. So I fight very hard. Long story short, my sentence is ultimately vacated. I'm back in Miami, fighting my case. I get my sentence reduced with uh, from 30 years down to 15 years and 10 years probation. At the time, I still have about another eight, seven or eight years left. But for the very first time, I am realistically thinking about getting out and going home, going to society. And I said, they told me to do a resume. I said, but let me tell you my situation. I went to prison when I was 16. I never used the internet. I never done this before. I never had a job in my life. I don't know what to put a hard to start. And my eyes just started watering. Um, she like, what did you do in prison? Where did you work? I worked in the law. She said, you have done things. And I started smiling. And um, so. <laughs> oh, 
resume. I'm like, this is what I needed. I need this. Okay, I got it. I got it. She's like, okay, there's an ex offender for convicted offenders, an ex offender orientation for bonding thing. Do you know about it? I heard about it. She's like, are you going to come to this? Do you have a library card? I said, no. She's like, you're going to go next door and you're going to get a library card and you're going to register for classes on how to use a computer. Her name is Miss Rodriguez. I said, thank you. I got the library card. I left and I, did. I remember that was the first time I went behind the building and I just broke down. I questioned if I could do this. I questioned whether I really was ready, whether it is true that there isn't a place for us. Something that I thought about was I also want to be an inspiration to others. If you ask me, what do I want to be when I grow up? I could tell you my career is to be a lawyer, to be an attorney, to advocate, to be a civil rights fighter. That's career. If you ask me what's my personal goal, is why do I want to do that? It's because I want to be an inspiration and an example that these things can be done. I want to put something in someone's heart that says, Angel did that, I could do my, I could pursue my dream. If Angel did that, I could do that. Amazing things happen. Lives are transformed, people are changed. Miracles take place. And I'm thankful that I became a nobody and that I became homeless because it was in this path of homelessness and this path of being nobody that I found my home in Orlando. And I am very fortunate to say that today I am somebody in Orlando.